Hey curlies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving deep into the world of color treated curly hair. I firsthand know how frustrating it can be to watch your vibrant color fade into the abyss and then watch your curls lose their bounce and luster every time you visit the salon to get your hair colored. So whether you color your hair for fun or whether you color your hair because you feel like you have to, this video is for you, I got you covered. Today I'm going to spill the tea on how to keep your curly hair vibrant and healthy post color. And I'll be giving you the lowdown on a product that I have been using for years. So let's get into it. Today we're gonna to be chatting all about Voix Perfecting Prism. Like I said, this is a product that I found three or four years ago, kind of by happenstance. It is inside of the September 2024 Curls Monthly Mailer. And I'm so excited that we've had so many Voix products in the mailers the past few months because Wa is a really great brand and we've already heard such great feedback from you guys. So thank you. And let me know below if you've tried any of the other Wa products, if you are a Curls Monthly subscriber. And if you're not a Curls Monthly subscriber and you have no idea what I'm talking about, Curls Monthly is my curly hair subscription service where each month I ship to you five plus of the best curly hair product in the world. So if you need that and are interested, I will link that below for you to check out. Let's talk about why I love this product so much and what it does, because it's kind of a unique product. It does contain both protein and moisture, and it's a pre-shampoo coloring treatment. But it's not just for color treated hair. It has benefits for all hair types, but it is specifically for color treated hair. It's going to shield your hair color against fading. It's also going to shield you against chemical damage and breakage. It's also going to help boost color vibrancy, which I don't know who doesn't want that after they spend hundreds of dollars on highlights. It also rebuilds your hair's natural protective layer to prevent against color oxidation. Again, such a unique product. Like I never see stuff like this on the market. So excited that this is in Curls Monthly. Of course, this product is going to be best for people who have color treated hair, people who want to preserve their color treated hair, and really anyone who wants to add hydration to their hair before they shampoo. No one really needs to be careful, especially because you shampoo after you use it, but of course, maybe if you have lower density hair, you would just really wanna make sure that you're shampooing two or three times to make sure it's really out of your hair to not help weigh your hair down. So the directions for use are to work it through dry or damp hair from roots to tips prior to shampooing. So this is something you can definitely put on dry hair. What I would basically do is just apply it to my hair before I get in the shower. Maybe if I shower in the morning, I'll apply it, go make my morning tea, and then go in the shower type of thing. You're supposed to keep it in your hair for about 15 minutes, but you can actually keep it in overnight. So you can also do it the night before for even a more deeper effect. Then you just follow with a shampoo and conditioner and style your hair as normal. And you can actually use this product up to one to two times per week. A lot of times when I apply pre-shampoos, I will do it in sections because my hair tends to, I, I tend to have a little bit more hair than the average person. So I will literally, um, just break my hair into sections and then like glide it through and then maybe just finger detangle it with my fingers a little bit and then move on to the next section. So we can really make sure that the product is coating every inch of my hair strand. If you're new here, I absolutely love looking inside of the ingredients of products. Like the front of the bottle might tell you one thing, but it's the back of the bottle, like where the ingredients are that will never lie. So we always do a deep dive of ingredients and I hope you can learn a thing or two as I go through this. So the first ingredient on this list after water is cetyl alcohol. Cetyl alcohol is a type of alcohol that actually attracts and retains moisture into your curls. So really, really, really crucial for curl health, curl bounce, and those types of things. Then we have glycerin, which actually does a similar thing, as well as sterile alcohol, which again, does sort of a similar thing. Then we have glycerol stearate, which also helps prevent dryness. Sweet almond oil is a very deeply penetrating oil, and it's really so great for repairing split ends and reducing breakage, which is necessary if you color your hair. Next up, we have safflower seed extract. This is also so great for damage repair and also prevents incoming damage from even happening. Then we have Guar Hydroproxyl Litronium Chloride. It's going to reduce knots and tangles and also help condition your hair. Next up, Black Spruce Extract. That'll help strengthen your hair follicles. Then we have Polyclorinium 7, which will detangle your hair, improve body, and also fullness to your hair. Hydrolyzed Keratin is a protein, so this is a protein-containing product. That's going to strengthen your hair, improve elasticity, and actually also improve your shine. Panthenol is an ingredient that's great for shine. Jojoba seed oil, which also is such a great deep conditioning agent because it really can get into the insides of your hair strands. It helps with hair growth. It also repairs split ends. It really does it all. 
Then tocopherol acetate provides antioxidant protection. Aloe vera leaf juice is so good for your hair and scalp. Just that product alone is so good, so moisturizing. And then last but not least, we have maltodextrin. That's a sugar derived ingredient and it's going to actually enhance volume and provide kind of like a grit and texture to the hair. So yeah, what the front of the bottle says in terms of boost shine, color vibrancy and protects is definitely true based on those ingredients. So let's talk about six tips that you can use today that will help your color last and also help your curls maintain their bounciness and health even though you color your hair. Newsflash, I have been coloring my hair since literally seventh grade. My first tip for maintaining your color and your health is going to be to make sure that you are using protein treatments. I've talked a little bit about protein so far on this video, but after you color your hair, your cuticles are going to be damaged, which means they're going to be wide open. It's like your hair is screaming for protein. So for the next two to three washes, focus on using a protein treatment in place of your conditioner. Strengthen those strands close the cuticles and lock in the color. Tip number two is to make sure that you're gentle cleansing. Keyword, gentle. Sulfate shampoos are bullies to people who have colored hair. They strip your hair of its natural oils. They heighten your pH level, which is going to open your cuticle, going to leave your hair dull and dry. So ditch the sulfate containing shampoos and opt for sulfate free shampoos. If you're a Curls Monthly subscriber, we've literally never have had a sulfate containing shampoo. so. No matter which one you've had, they're all good for you to use. And then in general, wash day frequency is also very important. Less is more like, if you, especially if you're coloring your hair red or like a color that's very far away from your natural hair color, please try to wash your hair less than you do. The more you stretch the wash days out, the better possibilities you have for preserving your hair color. Tip number three is to limit the heat. We've talked a lot about cuticles and your cuticles opening up. Well, your cuticles will open up and they'll swell when your hair's hot. Excessive heat styling is a color killer and also a curl killer. Diffuse your hair on low heat. It's a gentler way to dry your curls without sacrificing the volume. But when your cuticles open up, the color will slip away. Which leads me to tip number four, use lukewarm water. I don't really do this, but I would definitely recommend this tip for people, like I said, who have very court sort of extreme colored hair. Like if I were to dye my hair red, which I'm dying to do at some point, but if I were to dye my hair red, or if someone were to dye their hair black who has bright blonde hair, this is something you're gonna really want to do. But basically hot water is going to, again, expand and expel your cuticles. When that happens, color fades away. You're noticing a theme. So when you rinse out the product of your hair, definitely use like a lukewarm to cold water and that way your cuticles will seal up so they're not opened to extract the color. Number five, pre-shampoo treatments. This is where of course, Wa Perfecting Prism comes in. It's such a game changer. It's like a spa day for your hair. It helps protect your color, hydrates your curls and gives it just that extra boost of shine. And last but not least, tip number six is make sure to use sun protection. I know that sounds weird. We protect our skin from the sun, but our hair, yes, your hair can actually get almost sunburnt just like your skin can. And when it's sunburnt, your color fades. Think about when you leave like a piece of paper or like a poster in the sunlight, the color fades. Same thing will happen to your hair. They even make hair products with UV filters to add that extra layer of defense. So there you have it. Which tip is your favorite? By following these tips and of course, using the Voix Perfecting Prism into your routine. You'll be well on your way to maintaining vibrant, healthy, and gorgeous color-treated curls. But remember, consistency is key. So be patient, love your curls, and enjoy the compliments that are about to come your way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.